Uh, it is a special night for me, ladies and gentlemen. I am officially filming my first comedy special. <laughs> it's a bit wild. And it, ha it happens to be on the same day that I hit a million on TikTok, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, for those of you old folks who don't know what TikTok is, it's basically how us millennials and Gen Zs get attention. <laughs> Uh, one thing that you will recognize about me throughout my set, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, I'm like, I'm like low-key handsome. <laughs> yeah. Not like a lot, but like enough, right? I, I look like I get by. And I think the main reason that I'm like low-key handsome is just because I have a sexy accent. Right? Helps me out a lot, yes, yeah. It takes my sexiness up by about 10%. Which comes out to a total of 10% sexy. The other 90% is just like humor, personality, other things people don't care about. Uh, my accent comes from a very exotic place. My accent is from Harare, Zimbabwe. Yes, that's in Africa for those of you that don't know. And I know, I know what goes through people's minds when I say I'm from Africa and I look like this. They're like, why? <laughs> Is he so well fed? <laughs> it's a new diet I've been trying out called the American Dream. <laughs> Another question you might have for an African is, uh, where is your loincloth? Um, that is formal wear. We only wear that when we're feeling really fancy. <laughs> and of course, the most common question I get is, if you're from Africa, then why are you white? And these are all very valid questions. And they have one simple answer. Um, you are ignorant. <laughs> there's actually some food, clothes, and white people in Africa, as shocking as that may seem. But I understand the doubt. I understand where that doubt comes from, right? Sometimes I look in the mirror as a fat, white African in the morning. And I'm like, you shouldn't be a thing! Because right? it's, it's kind of like I'm like Bigfoot, right? Like, yeah, there's enough evidence to back my existence, but like, deep down, you just feel stupid for believing it. It's been weird, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I moved straight from Zimbabwe and came over to America. But the weird thing about that was that I didn't go anywhere like cool in America. I didn't go to like New York or LA. No, I went straight from Zimbabwe to Utah. <laughs> the whitest place on earth. <laughs> More specifically, I came here for school at BYU, the whitest college in the whitest place on earth. And that put me in some weird situations. For the most part, in general, actually, I was the token African guy in most social settings. Yeah, which I feel like speaks volumes for diversity here at BYU. Maybe that should be like BYU's new slogan, like Brigham Young University. Even the Africans are white. <laughs> hey, did you know that Drybar Comedy has its own app? That's right, you can download it right now to watch my whole special. Do it right now.